Crash Bandicoot. The Hugh Chad Venture. I don't know who Hugh and Chad are, or what kind of venture it is, because I've never played this game. I've never played the Crash handhelds, but... I tried a level of it. I thought, you know what? This is better than I thought it would be. So I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna try out the, the handheld Crash games. Because fuck it, I've done everything else in the series. I mean, everything else. All, all the mainline games. So, I might as well. I might as well complete the set to the degree that I'm willing to. I, I, I'm not gonna play, like, the, 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 the shitty mobile racing games. I don't even know if I could go about doing that, but I'm not gonna look into it. I have considered Crash Boom Bang, the uh, reportedly awful party game on the DS, just to see how bad it is, but... On a mysterious space station orbiting high above the Earth... Cortex, remind me why I keep you around. You failed me one too many times. I can't do the original Uka Uka, so I guess I'll just have to settle for Grant Fisher. Uka Uka, forgive me. I've been wasting all these years trying to vanquish that brainless bandicoot. He's of no importance to us. We want to take over the world. He's, he's gonna give up on Crash. Fuck Crash. Why are we bothering with this? I've heard it all before, little scientist. What is so different this time? I have a little plan to bring the Earth's, Earth's puny inhabitants down to size. Okay. Crash game's never known for, uh... Amazing stories. Also, why is the audio so quiet? It's real far down there. Let me fix that. Something like that should be good, right? Is a uh, is that too loud? I'm not getting drowned out, am I? Last, my planetary minimizer is complete. Earthlings will bow to my superior intellect. I did, I did see this cutscene. I, I tried a level of this game to see how it played, if I'd be interested in streaming it. And, uh... Yeah, it's kind of a dumb play. I have an announcement. Shadow the Hedgehog is a bitch-ass motherfucker. And I'm going to piss on the moon! Crash, Coco, the world needs your help. Cortex is pissing on the moon. We must stop him. So Cortex is using the crystals to power a shrinking machine that he's already used. The world has already shrunk. However, the crystals powering the machine are on the shrunk world. very confusing plot. Attempt at a plot. So this is the first Game Boy Advance Crash game of what I'm aware of are two in terms of platformers. Because there's like, there's Crash Purple Spiral Orange that was a very bad collection of mini games is what those were. With some platforming and overworld elements, but uh, Still too loud? Alright, you know what, I, I don't, I, I'm not, I can't be too careful, because I've had too many streams with, uh, with fucked up audio. Okay, sorry, I should confirm the levels before starting. Turn it down a little bit more. Ah, eh, shut up, CBS. It's odd that it is so, uh... Oh, is it Crash 2 music? It's odd that it is so, uh... Okay, yeah, that's good, okay. Alright. There we go, boring part's done. Why would Sony let Crash go to other platforms? Because at this time, Sony did not have a, uh... Did not have a handheld. The PSP happened in the DS era. 
And even by that time, by the time the PSP happened, Sony was kind of over Crash. It's the same as Sonic games being on, uh, being on Nintendo handhelds. There just, there wasn't an alternative in the way of handhelds. So I, uh, I tweaked my buttons a little bit to be more akin to, more akin to the regular Crash games. Game Boy Advance only had two face buttons. So the shoulder button, R, the R button, is the slide. And I haven't figured out if L does anything yet. But uh, I tweaked mine to be more like the PlayStation controls. So the circle button equivalent is the slide. You know, it plays like a it plays like a 2D crash level. It look this looks better than I thought it was going to look. This looks like a high budget Game Boy Advance game. I mean, it's still Game Boy Advance, so it's not going to look quite like the, even the PS1 really. It's sprite based, but they did it all right. Looks kind of, uh, it's like a Donkey Kong Country level graphics. Frame rate is not so great, the animations. Which I found out, apparently, the Game Boy Advance was a 60 FPS. Which I didn't know about it. Tell you it's not 60 FPS, that warp animation. I wonder if they just did, uh, if they did just take, like, uh, captures from the PS1 graphics, because it kind of, it kind of looks like that. And this came out, obviously, after all the PS1 games, so... It does have the full... It had Dingo Dial as the first boss we saw. It has uh, the relics. There's kind of a mishmash of uh, Crash 1 and 2 assets. Slap it, or one, two, and three. This is straight. Oh no! Oh! Of all the levels to bring back, you had to bring back Crash Three Water Levels. Is this old music? This wasn't the Crash Three Water music, was it? Is this new? Already it's been a while since I played these games. The last version was the Insane Trilogy, which I interrupted my playthrough of the main line of games to play that. And that must have been... That was probably a, a, maybe a year ago now. I don't know, I don't quite remember. I still have not gotten around to uh, full highlights of... Uh, Crash 3, insane. Is Crash a multi-platform franchise? Uh, yes. It was PlayStation exclusive until the bad games, quote-unquote, started happening. I believe... What was the first multi-platform one? I believe it was Twin Sanity. Was on uh, PlayStation as well as Xbox. But no, Crash has not been uh, PlayStation exclusive for a while. He was definitely worth the most back in the PS1 era. That's when he was in the in high demand. I don't think there ever were uh, Crash games on the on the PSP or Vita. 
places this mine is at. Can I just, like, bounce on that? Yeah, a lot of work. Alright, all crates. I don't know why I'm expending the effort necessarily. I'm probably not gonna 100% this game. But we'll see. These levels are short. They're very manageable so far. And it's a Game Boy Advance game, so it can't be that, uh... Crash of the Titans was on PSP. Oh, yeah. I guess they did, uh... They did do some games on, uh... Multiple platforms, including handhelds, for a little while. This is Crash 2 music. I know this one. The... Timing for the slide jump isn't quite the same as the original games. You can see that's messing with me a little bit. So what is PlayStation flagship character these days? It seems like Sony wants you to think it's Kratos, because he was the one on... He was like the headliner for PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale which Crash and Spyro were not even in because they couldn't get the rights. The PS2 era had uh, Jack and Ratchet kind of take the place. Jack, Ratchet, and Sly take the place of Crash and Spyro as the platforming mascots, but that was an era where uh, the platforming hero, with the platforming games in general were kind of uh, dying, but not as popular. Around the time of the PS3, Sony decided to become the super serious adult platform for adults. And so they've kind of shied away from, you know, the kid-friendly stuff, the platforming mascots. And they're more, more in line with, like, uh, serious story-driven games like Death Stranding, Metal Gear Solid. And, uh, you know, shooters, God of War, things like that. Which was more or less the Xbox market back in the days of the PS2 and the original Xbox. Was that Microsoft was trying to go for the uh, adult gamer market. I guess before that it was kind of Sega. Which, Sega was never exclusively, like, adult stuff, but they tried to, they tried to aim for the market more than Nintendo did. Because Sega had all the, all the sports games, it had, like, flight simulators, uh... Michael Jackson Battle of the Windy City. Eh? Huh? Anybody? Shaq Fu? Anime titty games? Gotta have them anime titty games. That, that just went nowhere. Okay. Just a ladder of boxes to nowhere. This does control well. It, it does. It feels like a crash game. This is not a bad game. And uh, so, Darian, you said you've not played this one. You, so I guess you've played uh, Entrance, which is the second handheld GBA crash platformer. Which, in trance, was a little egg fella who was in uh, Nitro Kart as a playable character. And I didn't know who the hell he was, because I didn't play the handheld games. I played Crash Purple. That's what I had. I got the shitty one, and that was it. What we got? This game is pretty similar to Entrance, I would imagine. Like, Entrance is the sequel to this. Mm. Instant death spikes. 
am I supposed to go this way? I thought this was like a like a bonus section. I mean, maybe it is. It seems kind of hard, and it's a I can't even do anything in it because it's a red gem platform. At least I can spin the birds this time. So lizards are crash one enemies. They are they are drawing from all three games. Just it's just a mishmash on the Game Boy Advance as it is a 2D platformer. Do they like uh, do they attempt any 3D in uh, entranced? That strikes me as something that a sequel to a Game Boy Advance 2D platformer would do, would do is think that uh, hey this went well. Maybe we can try to expand it. And Game Boy Advance games doing 3D usually doesn't go well. Fuck. What have I got? I know else was PlayStation would bring back the cool color logo. Well, yeah, but you see, you don't. You see, Charles' color is not adult and manly. In order to appeal to adults, you gotta be monochrome, you gotta be black, you gotta be sharp, and, and silver. Lots of blacks and silvers. Fuck. Okay, I'm good. You gotta use the, you gotta use the Spider-Man 2 trailer lo trailer font. That's how you get the adults. That was the uh, PlayStation 3 logo. Used the same font as the Spider-Man 2 movie. Temple of Boom. Because they had TNTs? That's a little bit of a stretch. Oh, hello, Mango. Yep, this is my first time playing any of the handheld Crash games. I tried a level of this, thought, you know what? This doesn't seem bad, so now I'm trying it, and it's not bad. And, uh, I will also give Entrance to try. The Nitros do not bounce. I'm- oh, I'm cool with that. Once again, we have an ice level in Crash. And, uh, once again, as with all ice levels in Crash, it has to have an obscene number of boxes. That's an obscure trait of ice levels in Crash, is that they have the most boxes. It's a terrible rule decided on by sadists. Though the seals are white. That's weird looking. I don't like how that looks. Oh, hello. Here we go. Uh, well, okay. Well, it's standing on all, on two legs. That looks weird. I guess that's why there were so many crates. Hopefully this works like the... Hopefully this works like the... PS1 games. It does not. He doesn't get the crates for No! So he doesn't get the crates for you. You do have to get them all yourself. And I just hit a checkpoint, so now I can't get them. That's not the bear. That's like uh, it's like a yeti. Original enemy, not from the 2D, not from the 3D games. The yeti. He breaks the crates, but he has to run into them himself. Well, that was an abrupt end to the segment, and there's more more 2D level. Something about this slide is really messing with me. I'm not gonna bother because I already am not getting all the crates. Damn it. The ice physics are at least a little more forgiving than uh, the PS1 games. Crash can get uh, 
he doesn't take as long to build up momentum as in the PS1. I consider myself pretty good at crash games. Got all platinums in uh, all three in Insane Trilogy. 100% of the original games. Ow. Struggling a little bit with the controls in this one at times. Not not bad. Just not quite as uh, not quite as fluid feeling as in the PS1. How about the plot for this game? Pretty neat. Oh boy, is it? We're on a we're on a shrunken Earth right now, looking for shrunken crystals that are powering the non-shrunken shrink ray. Somehow. Just in slime. Implying that it's slime in sewers. Nothing else, just slime. Oh wait, I don't want to hit that yet. Levels would either be too, way too big or way too tiny. Well, no, we're tiny. Everything shrunk. It, it, the plot basically affected nothing. We're just gonna look over Australia and see the big, like, cortex thumb. Because he's holding the planet. Or something. It is a very bizarre plot, even for a crash game. But Mario Party DS did, made the levels huge and the characters small. I mean, playing with size has always been a thing in the Mario games. The Mario 3 world being the immediate first example that comes to mind. Wumpa Fruits being a finite collectible in the new game is gonna be strange. Fuck. So if you haven't seen the if you haven't seen the trailer, Wumpa Fruit in Crash 4 are finite, like gems in Spyro. There's a set number of them in every level. And you need to collect every single fruit bar none to get a gem. So there's a Wumpa gem, there's a Crash gem, Crash gem, a uh, Crates gem, and there are also gems lying around the levels. Which there are in the original Crash games as well to some degree. You might find like one at the end of a challenge route or something. But uh... They were not typically just lying around all over the place as collectibles, like in Twin Sanity, so... The fact that they're doing that in Crash 4 makes it seem like... It is a little bit of a nod to Twin Sanity in that regard. I might actually just get a PS5 just for the new Crash game. I'm not going to. I hope it's not exclusive. If it is, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do, because I there's just not enough on PS5 to merit that price tag. Okay, I did not need to go back, and now I'm fucked. I think it'll also be on Xbox. Most things are multi-platform these days, at worst, times timed exclusives. So if it is exclusive to anything, I'm going to give it a year and see if it comes out elsewhere. Especially given that that's what happened with the uh, Insane in 
the other Crash games. Is that they were uh, they were timed timed exclusives for a year. Same with Spyro. So since it's still Activision, I'm going to assume that's still their policy. bitching about the art style in Crash 4. I think the changes are really unnecessary. They're not as bad as other Crash games have been. Still, just not really needed. Crash 2 enemy. Oh! Hello, mouse. So, did you have... You said you had both of these games on the Game Boy Advance Mango? This and Entrance? How come I can't go under? I wanna, like, I wanna crawl through the sewers like Solid Snake. That's a noise. That's a nice noise. Tight. Oh, good. Safety mask. Lots of Crash 2 tracks, slightly remixed and not just compressed versions. Yeah, that's neat. That fell fast! That fell like a brick! Just, it's just a big straight line! Well, okay, I didn't need that. Who needs lives? It's just a big straight line through the sewers. I mean, I guess level design is a little bit limited when you only have two dimensions, but... It was moonwalking for a moment there. It's just a big pile of crates at the end of the level. Alright, six more. He just they just moonwalk. That's just how they do. This game does seem to have a, a lot of Crash 2 in it. Maybe the director just liked Crash 2. Maybe that was his favorite Crash game. I can make the TNT sound by pressing down. What, uh, I wonder if it'll tell me if the gem is colored or not in the, in the preview. Wait, underwater boss fight? Why? 
Who thought this was a good idea? Hello? Come on, get hit, you bastard! Ah! Well, my insurance is gone. Come on. Fire the missile! You know what it is? I always just finish my cup of coffee before doing a uh, before doing a solo stream. Oh, I always have a my voice is always dry for these. It's not great for doing voices. Come on, bastard. Okay, so like Crash Three, this has the unlockable abilities. Super Super Belly Flop, Body Slam. I always called it the belly flop. I don't remember where I got that from, if I just called it that myself. Maybe the Crash 2 manual said that. Meddling marsupial, you got lucky this time. Henchmen won't be so easy on you in the future. Okay. Engine World 2 boss. That's unusual. Do we have any color gems? Okay, there. Are, so it does show you if the gems are colored or not. In that case, I'm going to do this level first. There's a Crash 2 enemy. That doesn't seem very super. Seems kind of ordinary. Oh, that's a pit. All right, come over here. This is like one of those sonic gaps. You have no way of knowing that it is a, just a death pit all the way to the bottom of the level until you fall in it once. It is at least zoomed out enough to do the platforming, though, which many handheld games aren't. There's a very small resolution. It's like uh, 240 by something. almost big enough to do platforming. Not a lot of reaction time. Some uh, sweet water waterfall graphics. Definitely not in uh, obvious loop. Where the top of the waterfall begins and the bottom of the graphic ends. Seamless. It 
it's the, it's, it's the, it's the crate dick. If you want an ever crash game, you just gotta watch for it. Oh. Oh, okay, that works. I had no idea how I was gonna do that. like a wall that if I were Sonic, I could, I, could, I could break through that wall, but I'm not. It's not my favorite, uh, not my favorite level gimmick. The, uh, wait for moving platforms level. Stay hydrated. if I'm going to be doing any speedruns in this game or not. I'm going to guess not, but we'll see. I guess it depends how much I care about getting all, getting the relics, and what exactly they do in this game. I'm sure there's someone somewhere who prefers this to the 3D Crash games. Statistically speaking. Just ran right off. Why are the bonus levels kicking my ass? Also, I saw that, uh, that platform. The graphic moving in front of the crate. A little bit of a graphical glitch. Could be the emulator, could be the game. I wonder what the best way to stream a, uh, Game Boy Advance game on physical hardware. I, I, I guess it would be the, uh, I guess it'd be the, the GameCube attachment, which I had, but I don't think I had the necessary cords. No, I, di I didn't have the disc it needed to work. I had a Sega 32X. That's what I was uh, missing the cords on. I, this sliding is killing me. I may or may, may not be streaming a Smash Brothers Arena tomorrow, because uh, usually Wickersham Nick does that on Fridays, and he may or may not be able to this week, due to circumstances. So if he can't, then uh, I will probably do it in his place, and we'll have a Smash Arena. But it's in the air, we'll see. The 
platform's got to start moving away from you. So you have to wait every time you start the bonus area, too. You just barely make it with a normal jump, and if you try to slide jump, there's just not enough room. This one, this one has to be a slide jump. You can't make that with a normal jump. That's right, those guys were from, well, they were in the, in the ruins levels. They were also in the nighttime levels. In the, you know, the two, the two of them had the spiky neck enemies. Yeah, they're kind of, they're, kinda, they're jungle enemies, conceivably. I'm just, I'm gonna try normal jumps. They've had a higher success rate than attempting to slide on a single crate. A noodle by any other name. Hey, did you did you see the uh, macaroni and cheese breakfast? Known in Canada as the craft dinner breakfast. So uh craft was ad was tweeting about hey now you can have macaroni and cheese for breakfast. And as far as I could tell, it just looked like a completely ordinary box of mac and cheese, but with the board breakfast stuck on it. Okay, so yeah, that needs to be a slide. I I know how to slide jump, I'm doing it early. It's just, uh, it's kind of finicky in, the, in this game compared to the, the PlayStation ones. Not fast enough, asshole. I like how shitty the background is here. You here in the cave? Do I have lives? I guess not for the bonus area, which is a good thing. I'm struggling with this so much more than the other crash games. base. What is this music track? This had to have been from, uh, this from uh, one of the PS1 games, isn't it? I don't know if it's quite slap bass, but it's, it's, it's a nice bass line. how involved, if at all, Mark Mothersburg was. But Mothersburg. Mother's Bomb? I've already... I've forgotten the guy's last name. The Crash Composer was with this game's soundtrack. Since a lot of it is just, uh... It might have been someone new. Just using the, the songs and styles 
from the PS1 games. Was it the Spyro Composer? Was the drummer in the police, and the Crash Composer was a member of Devo, and is also the guy who did the Rugrats theme song and music. You can come back here later once you get the double jump. Uh, I could, but that's that's quitting. <sighs> Am I really gonna just not get any gems until I get the double jump? Clifford theme? I've, I've never watched Clifford. I assume it was on, that, was, that sounds like a PBS cartoon. It would be, right? There's not even any reason for me to still be getting crates. Cyber Chase. Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase? Oh, that was one of the. Wait, where the hell was the blue gem? Okay, so I. I the... Obviously, the crates was one gem. I must have completely overlooked a potential alternate path or something somewhere in that level. on them, like Crash 2? Okay, so I guess I'll never know. If I can jump on them while they're spinning. I'm also looking at the... I realize I'm looking at my off screen as opposed to the actual game window because it's closer. That's the, that's the blue gem, isn't it? I would have had that if I'd gotten the... If I'd gotten the blue gem on that level I was just on. I cannot jump on them while spinning like I can in Crash 2. Okay, good to know. So, was Cyber Chase also a PBS Kids show? Because I only know the Scooby-Doo movie. <clears throat> Fuck. You having fun? I'm having fun. This, oh, this would this would have required a lot of patience on the Game Boy, which I guess is, is fine because it's you know it's handheld. You can take it from like long car trips and things. Had a motherboard, little cyber woman on screen of villain types that were angular as fuck. Sounds like Reboot. Are you sure you're not just describing Reboot? Maybe, maybe, it, was a, maybe it was a Reboot, like, ripoff. Maybe he was trying to capitalize on the popularity.
No, I, I have no idea. I know nothing. This is the first I've heard of this show. Hey, let's talk about Cyber Grannies. You know about that show? That's why they call them Cyber Grannies. No, that was a Vinny stream. I thought it was a show. Was it a game? It was like he pointed out. I, I probably heard about it from the Vinny stream of hey, hey, look at this thing and its ridiculous theme song. But I thought it was like a like a, a cartoon movie or a TV show. Okay, I, I, I gotta focus now. I can't look at chat. Fuck off, penguins. Who in their right mind would use the speed up on this? I, I guess for time trials, but... It's a cool looking Aku Aku, the bright gold. He's gone fucking Super Saiyan. Ah! Ah! Am I good? Is this the end? Did I get all the crates? That's what I'm mostly worried about, is getting all the crates. Oh no! Okay, he got he got that one. Damn it. One with the kangaroo and a plane from the PC, PC stream. So it was it was a game. I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna look this up. After, uh, after this section, after this level. I can't even jump on the penguins. Uh, very little reaction time to see what's coming. Like, less so than the running from shit levels in the original Crash games, which people already complained about. Not me, I, I didn't mind them, but... Yeah, these Yeti sections are brutal. And then, there they are. I knew they were coming up on the right, and there's that fella, and I died to a penguin. do a run to jump over the penguins and not land on them. Alright, crates on the right. Oh, that's fine. Got it. This is gonna cost me all my lives, this yeti fucker. just to say he's a yeti. I assume he would be tra attracted to his own kind. Get it. Get the box. Yes, Mr. Yeti. Or Miss Yeti. Okay. Area cleared. That's tight. That's a little tight landing. Okay, it is just uh, it is just a shitty old PC game. Ah! Oh! Spot on! On those crates. On those Wumpa. Three, four, five. 
What? We're fine. Got him. Uh, falling seals. This is a sandy contraption. Falling aquatic life. Are seals aquatic? I guess they count, right? Usually he prefers fish. One more gem. Still no colored ones. Snow crashed. Did, did they already use that level title? That was a crash two level, wasn't it? Oh, we got a we got a gimmick level. This isn't platforming. What is this? I'm throwing fruit. It's a shooter. How how did a crystal just end up flying in the sky? Man, last time I did this, I had a plane. I'm just, I'm on a jetpack, fighting blimps and fighter pilots. This is a suicide mission. At least I have HP. This really does seem like it would be better suited for uh, a jet, uh, an airplane, though. I think the, the director of this game just liked Crash 2. I think he wanted to include more Crash 2 stuff than Crash 3 stuff. Which, you know what? I can appreciate that. I think I missed some stuff. It's kind of hard to tell with the uh, 3D graphics. Come on, go down. Okay, I actually think this is a little bit better than... Uh, this is a bit more in line with the Crash philosophy than the vehicle levels in Crash 3, because at least it's linear, which Crash is more or less built around. I wonder if I need to shoot down all the nitros. All the shit on my screen, on my 240 pixel screen. Got all the three crates. Are there three more coming? I don't know how this works, if it is rendering a uh, 3D space, or... I'm gonna guess not, because it's the Game Boy Advance, but you never know for sure. I think I just missed three. Yeah. Just hanging. Two hundred forty by one sixty. One sixty P graphics on the uh, Game Boy Advance. Advance. Thank you. 
It's a good thing there's no fall damage in Crash games. Uh, I guess I'm going right. Okay, good. Could not see where I was jumping to. Was I supposed to slide under those? No, I wasn't. Okay, good. This seems like a bonus area that could cause me grief. They really fall fast. I have finally honed finesse in movement from the PS1 games. It's not carrying over very well. I cannot slide under those, even if I want to. Ah! Why did it just explode that time? Maybe that happens if it falls from more than one crate height. That seems to be the case. Also, it seems like it's programmed to just squash you. Like the metal crates. Because he doesn't get it doesn't blow blow up upon hitting crash in the head, like in the PS1 games. It squashes him and then it hits the ground and explodes. I thought you, uh, I thought you usually worked on weekdays, Mango. Yeah, it just blows up if it falls too great heights. Why am I suddenly struggling with that stack of crates? And I just fall down the pit immediately after. Again, bonus areas just kicking my ass. Mostly because I'm struggling with the controls like the physics more than anything else. Oh, it gave me a uh, gave me a pity life that I did not take. Spyro highlights. I remember Jack getting especially mad when Spyro 3 decided to uh, give him pity and lower the boss health when he was struggling against a boss. I wonder if there's a, a name for that trope. That counts as a trope in regards to a video game. You know, the pity mechanics. Do I want to go up here? There was stuff down there. I got 
gotta go all the way back? Man! Remember when bonus areas were just like, have some extra lives? And you have to work for them a little bit, but... Your life isn't at a whole lot of risk. Give that a little bit of cooldown. Go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna get this level level this level bonus level clear. Bidi 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 bidi. I, I'm still missing two crates? Where? Are they just gone? Nope. Oh, okay, cool. So this, uh, even before Insane Trilogy... They knew they, they had to make the, the the climbing faster. I don't remember if there was uh there was monkey bar climbing in uh, Wrath of Cortex or not. I don't need those. I'm already not getting all the crates on this level. Oh, that's, a, that's one of the guys I can't kill. That works. There's an interesting way to use these mechanics in 2D. up, Mr. Enemy. No? Fine. He'll live. A hundred and fifty crates. There's more? Wow, these are long levels. By the time I get through the bonus, I already feel like I'm done with the level. I don't want to look at it again. Crash 3, uh, Crystal Sound. I was a little more partial to the Crash 2 one, but... The Crash 3 tended to be the one that, uh... Continued to be used. underwater level. So I'm thinking I'm not going to get all the gems in this game. I think I'm just going to try to move through it pretty quickly. Do the normal ending. And that'll be enough. Which if I'm uh, if I'm prompt, this will be a one stream game. This kind of is about what I what I, I planned for, and necessarily want to invest multiple streams in it. Okay, we're fine. It's jellyfish. I don't remember if there were jellyfish in Crash Three or not. I don't think there were. I wonder when this. I, I'm gonna look up when this game was uh, made. This was around the same time as Wrath of Cortex. Which I did play. That was one of the mainline games and was more or less a ripoff of Crash 3. I still liked it well enough. I, I liked it a little more than Crash 3. Unpopular opinion there. Thank <laughs> you. 
That. I need lives. In this game. This might be the first Crash game where I've really felt a need for lives. I can take everyone I can get. Okay, I got one. Let's see. Crash Bandicoot Huge Adventure. Oh, it's well, okay. Engine fights are usually uh, some kind of special mechanic. February 25th, 2002, by Vicarious Visions. Wrath of Cortex, October 29th, 2001, by Traveler's Tales. Okay. 91% liked Wrath of Cortex, according to Google. 94% liked Huge Adventure. 5 out of 5 on GameStop. 78% on Metacritic. So it's got it's got de decent scores. Which is fair. It's, it's on, on the better side of Game Boy Advance platformers, I would say. Compared to, uh... I mean, you got the Mario Advances with their gratuitous voice clips. Fuck off, machine gun. That thing needs to go. Did I get it? No, I didn't get it. I'm just taking, I'm taking lots of hits. I don't think I'm hitting anything. There it goes. Wow, that took way too long. engine fight. The machine gun really did seem like the worst of it, though. Like, with that gone, I can hang on to this 4%. Never mind. Skyhawk's cannon. It's his most dangerous weapon. If you get him down to just the bombs and missiles, he's a lot easier to deal with. That rapid-fire machine gun cannon, though. This game we played uh, briefly on two players, one controller is uh, Captain Skyhawk, which was a game I grew up with on the NES. Not super well-known, I don't think, but I thought it was pretty High, produ high, uh, high production values. It was a uh, Milton Bradley game on the NES. Come on, you bastard. Fire in your bomb bay. Note, nothing against Bombay. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Stop doing your spinny shit. Most annoying part of an engine fight 
is when he has one of the two arms and one of them goes off screen. Okay, double jump. Great. Oh, Coco, looking good. You, you look beautiful in this particular still shot. Great job, Crash. I have half the crystals. Now bring me the rest of them so I can finish my machine. Half. There's only four worlds in this game? Gladiator Tiny. Oh, that's a... Oh. That was one of the big old polar bears that chases you in Crash 2, except I guess it's just mid-sized and you can kill them now. That's way less intimidating. Also, I just bounced on it without killing it. Killing it. How'd that happen? There's that crash double jump. Oh, fuck. They're just nothing. They're fucking jokes. Maybe I can't spin them from the front. Maybe that's their uh, unique behavior. Spin them from the back. <sighs> Fuck. Here, come here. I'm gonna experiment. Are your teeth dangerous? Nope. You're just a big old fluffy pushover, Mr. Bear. Well, we replaced the chase levels with a Yeti. It'd be a waste not to use the bear model. Those are the least threatening polar bears in any video game. They're Goombas. Nah, they're even more ineffectual than Goombas because they're big and wide and easy to jump on. So Entranced must have come out pretty quickly, if uh, this came out after Wrath of Cortex, and the next PS2 Crash game was Crash Nitro Kart, which Entranced was in. Unless maybe that came out while Entranced was in development, could be. Crash Bandicoot. Entranced. doesn't even help because most of the time I just die to falling falling into a pit because of the platforming controls. Like the average jump width in this game is very unforgiving. You just can just barely make it. Thankfully, I now have a double jump, which should help greatly. I say that, I'm sure I'm still going to be falling into everything. And Yeti. Entranced was released January, 20, January 7th, 2003. Crash Nitro Kart, November 11th, 2003. Okay, so Entranced was the year after this game, so it came out pretty quickly. And then it was multiple years between Wrath of Cortex and Nitro Kart. I'm not gonna get on those. I don't, I don't need to go that fast. I'm afraid to go that fast.
But they, they just used the, the, the wheel wells and not the rollers themselves. Oh god, I hope they don't use the rollers themselves. I don't need those on these levels. Look at all this shit! What is this, Battletoads? And now I don't even have my safety mask. Oh, this is gonna cost me all my lives. Fuck this Yeti. Fuck this Yeti and his caves. This is more dangerous than Sly Cooper entering a, a polar bear cave to steal tags out of their sleeping mouths. This is a Mario Maker level where you let your three-year-old daughter scribble on the on the on the drawing pad. It's just shit everywhere. And I didn't even get the checkpoint. It is, it is, it really is just shit scribbled everywhere aimlessly. There's no reason to this. But this cluster of shit. Go get the crates, Yeti. Che okay, I got the checkpoint this time. Just jump nice little, nice little hops. This is, see, this is much more reasonable. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but... There we go. This particular ice level even has less than 100 crates. Uh, so Mango, have you played this and Entrance? <laughs> what? what Excuse me? I bonked my head on it while it was up and not stomping. I, I gotta try to replicate that. Okay, it, so it had started the coming down animation is what got me. You, you don't just touch them while they're not moving and die, thankfully. Uh, so is Entrance completely identical to this in terms of the engine? Do you think it's any tighter in the way it controls? Also, I thought you usually, uh... Don't you usually work on weekdays? Lost the double jump. I'm anticipating to this this to be uh This will be one stream is this game and then I'll try uh, I'll try entrance at a future date. So this, I found out this actually came out after Wrath of Cortex. I wonder if, uh, if Mark didn't do the Wrath of Cortex soundtrack. Maybe whoever they got to replace him did this as well. Okay, well that's not death at least.
Mark had no involvement with Wrath of Cortex. Okay. Well, if he had left by that point, I assumed that he was not working on this either. I played Wrath of Cortex. I'm pretty sure all of its budget went to, uh, went to the celebrity voice cast. Blythe and Martin Justra. Oh, I miss some. Andy Blythe sounds a little bit familiar. Ace of Space! Todd Maston was the composer for Huge Adventure. So yeah, different different people. Our first future level. I mean future quote unquote. I guess it's just Cortex land? Space station? This is the first time we've had a level like this in a Crash game. It's just a space background. Andy Life. I wonder if I, there's a reason I've heard that from somewhere. Crash 2. Well, yeah, but it wasn't... Uh, we, there was like a jetpack in space level. They share a Wikipedia article. Andy Blythe and Martin Justra. So they're always uh, they're always a, a duo. A Bug's Life. Crash Bandicoot: Wrath of Cortex. Finding Nemo. Well, these particular two guys have been uh, plucked to do some, a, a couple big name things. <laughs> Platforming in space! You are a Crash 3 enemy. There might have been video game versions? Yep. Bugs Life 1998 video game. I had that on the N64. And Finding Nemo video game. So these guys are, uh... Oh, no! Oh, they worked on Rascal! An infamously shitty PS1 kind of platforming game. I didn't even know if it was a platformer. I had it, and it was terrible. And I always saw it at used game shops because no one wanted it. So yeah, I guess they're just, uh, I, I guess they're just like, shovelware game composers for hire. That's kind of sad. that he's standing on the bottom-most treadmill. Well, 
194 boxes. Holy crap, I just saw that. Okay, how big is this level? Cool line of Wumpa fruit you got there. Can I... Oh... A lot of shit you can't see in this level. I don't like that. By which I mean there's been two instances of it, which is too, too many. Double jump! Crash! You have a pretty short window to do the double jump and crash. There we go. There, I can't see the, where I'm going. I guess I'm going further right. I gotta do a slide double jump to make that? Oh man! This this game is demanding. I didn't think the PS1 crash games were particularly hard, unlike a lot of other people. And again, it's mostly due to the controls on this. Damn it. Let's just, let's, let's not. Let's just, let's not. Oh, those are nitros. I, I can live my life without 100%ing Crash. Huge adventure. pretty quickly. Even if I'm not getting all the crates, I'd still like to check out the uh, bonus area just so I can see, you know, all the game content. 51 crates just in a bonus area. There's been almost no hazard so far in this bonus area. It's been much more akin to what one might expect a bonus area in a video game to be. Come 
and there's the hazard. There's big pitfall, just right towards the end. Make sure you get lots of stuff before it, so that you have lots to lose when you get to the actually dangerous part. Even with that with that hazard though, that was still one of the easiest bonus areas for one of the most demanding levels thus far. Like that stuff it wanted me to do under the level on those single crates was crazy. good. No harm, no foul. Salvation. I got a whole whopping half of the crates. Another underwater level. Can't get enough. Love me some underwater levels. These, uh, these puffer fish don't spend as much time puffed as they did in Crash 3. Also, not as, uh... They didn't have quite all the death animations in this. right about now. Squids, that's a Donkey Kong Country enemy. What are you doing here? It even looks like clay. They're like the... Oh, I can spin them. Good. They're like the stone heads in the B levels in Crash 2. They just move in diamonds. Under the mines, through the fishbowl decorations. Oh, right before the checkpoint. Honestly, have not been paying attention anymore since I don't intend to 100% it. <laughs> oh, I got that animation in. He has a special puffer fish death. I also can't really uh, press both the swim and spin buttons at the same time for like a, a fast spin like I could in Crash 3.
blend in with the background. It's that fish camo. Tactical oceanographical action. Checkpoint. Mask. Either. Boy, they really don't want to give you masks this late in the game. They're holding out on me. Oh, that's the end. Yeah, I missed a lot of crates. So if Coco said she had half the crystals, that I'm led to assume that means that there are only 20 levels in this game, as opposed to the usual 25 crystals. Hello? Okay. So that's a demanding leap. Is that the way I have to go, or...? I thought there was more below that. There's not. Okay. Sure is, uh, sure is World 3 we're on. Come on, get up, Crash. We're in a temple now. Okay. Uh, that's a spooky blow dart man. The Crash 2 Turtle Woods music. Crash Bandicoot and the Temple of Doom. Very focused now. These levels are getting very demanding. Oh, hello. What I was uh, thought I thought I landed on him, but I didn't. Oh, I missed one. Can I get back up? Okay, good. Saiyan mask. It's a good thing to have. It's a hundred times as powerful as a normal mask. Okay, that's fine. I can take a hit. I got it. I'm no longer Super Saiyan. Dio, take your pick. Yellow Bowser's either of these things. Alright. 
plus than 100 crates. Got a bonus area. How bad is this one going to be? Can't wait. I think I've gotten all the crates on this level so far, so I'd like to keep that up. Just cause. I'm not gonna get all the gems, but you know, I'm gonna get as many as I can. Reasonably. Within a couple hours. <laughs> Don't wanna fall in there, but uh Damn good thing bonus levels don't cost lives, or I would be thoroughly in the red right now. So they got that going, that's still bonus about them. One of these one gap in these single tile wide gaps. I think we're good for getting to the end of this game as long as we don't run into any. I was going left. God damn it. As long as we don't run to any any more nonsense like that Yeti level design. left in a, in a 2D crash game. What are you doing, game devs? What is this, Marble Zone from Sonic? Fuck. Standing directly in front of him won't kill me, but his feet will. another unique animation. There's a blow dart pop death. Only seen a couple of them in the game. Eh, granted, since they're sprite-based, they're uh, a bit more work to implement, I guess. I guess relative. They have to devote more space to them, rather. Blow darts! This is a cover shooter now. Wait, that's it? Where'd I miss all those? See you're in the tough jungle level. Is that one particularly known for its difficulty? 
Alright, more jetpack. Just flying through the air like goddamn Superman. With my Kamehameha Wumpa missiles. How woken. It's just the last jungle level. Okay. I, I hope there are no more water levels or ice levels. There probably will be. I'm under the operating assumption because of what Coco said that uh, there are 20 levels in this game and not the usual 25. Bottle rockets coming from? From the ground? Is Jeff from Earthbound firing at me? They have surface to air rockets. Heard are pretty accurate ones too if they're managing to hit a bandicoot on a jetpack. crashes have unique level modes unique that are unique to them. Yeah. Again, I like I like I think I like this better than the free roaming vehicle stuff in Crash 3 because this is more crash like. Oh, that'd be a bizarre bizarre twists in, like, uh, Crash 4, if one of the level gimmicks was being open world. You enter a level and suddenly it's Spyro, and you have to explore to find shit. Just for that level, and then the next level goes back to being on the, on the, you know, the linear Crash kind of rail platforming system. They already get experimental with their level gimmicks anyway. They might as well do something weird like that. Especially since that's what Twin... That's more or less what Twin Sanity was, was an open world idea for a Crash game. And it had its fans, as poorly executed as it may have been. God, it's a two who. Bullet hell, go. no 3D Toho games, are there? They did. They never attempted this. I mean, they, it's, it's he. It's like one guy is the entire franchise, isn't he? Not official ones. 
truly the indie representative. Add Reimu for Smash Brothers. Reimu or, or uh, Cyrano? Made it with 40. Go down, Mr. Blimp. Screw your missiles. Two percent. Oh, hello. Levels start quickly in this game. This game has, like, no loading times. Oh, I had a, I had a mask, I guess. Fuck. Okay, so it's... Kinda like the Crash 2 or Crash 3 Spiny. Spiny. Tiny but in 2D. I keep failing my jumps. Super spin. My planetary minimizer will stop him, but he's already on the, the tiny mini planet. Final countdown. Okay, so there's there's another fly level. Last five. How bad can they be? I only struggled gratuitously with the World 3 levels. World 4 can't be worse. Oh, it's got the spinny platforms. Which I think were in Crash 3. worry about crates at this point because I'm not planning to get them all. Oh, it's those guys. If I can somehow get through this game without a game over, I will be proud of myself. Inching closer, level by level. Yeah, you put yours down. Okay. All right. World four bonus level. How bad is this going to be? Forty-seven crates. 
None of them lethal so far. Uh, funny shape for some uh, crates. What's over here? There's a platform. Is there stuff down there? It looks like death down there, so I'm not going to go down there. No, sir. No, thank you, sir. Uh, what are these? Do I want to hit these? I guess I do. I guess I wanted to hit that one first. Yeah, I did. So I'm going to guess that the final power-up is the running shoes like Crash 3 and Wrath of Cortex. Which I'm fine with. I don't think the bazooka needed to be in a Crash game. What? what how you floating there? What are you doing, Crate? Just hanging out? You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to be affected by gravity. And there were three in a pit somewhere that I didn't know that I could jump into, so uh, if I were to 100% this, I would have to start jumping into random pits. Where am I going? I don't see... Okay, that's a wall. Your arms up. There you go. Oh, hello. Didn't even see him until the last second. Also, unique to this game, the uh, TNT blow up the reinforced crates, whereas in the PS1 games, they did not do that. Only the belly flop could get them. Which makes sense, you would think an explosive TNT would, in fact, destroy plates, crates, that a belly flop could. see that fella in time. Okay. Proceed with caution. I don't think the... Ow. Oh. I don't think Crash 3 ever required you to do a slide double jump like that. Just to make it up a wall. They're really, uh... They really want you to know the mechanics of this one. Oh! Okay, that's fine. I'm not getting all the crates. I didn't need that. We're good. Let's just get out of here. arms up. Put your hands in the air. Like you're about to die. There we go. Okay. Level 16 clear. And we're just not getting any gems anymore. The gems are a lost cause. If I'd had this as a kid on the, on the Game Boy... If I'd, if I'd had this, I'd taken it to school with me. I, I would 100% of this game. 
It would have taken many, many hours. More hours than I'm willing to give it on stream. But I will. Wow, it, he lasts a while doing that. It's going for a nice, leisurely swim. And I'm not going to get caught on any yucks because I'm not doing any speedruns. It's just a nice, leisurely crash game. Nice and easy. Low stakes. laid out. I'm sensing some inspiration from the Donkey Kong games in, uh, in this game's direction. Not a ton, but little bits here and there. Like, I, I mentioned those squids look very, uh, they, they look clay-like. They look loosely akin to the Donkey Kong country style. Like straight out of Donkey Kong 3. <laughs> Fucking squids. Fucking Donkey Kong squids. a life even before that point. Can I just touch you? Yeah, I can. Okay. I've been doing pretty well against, uh, against friends like, uh, Wickersham and company in, like, uh, in off-stream Smash Brothers. A little bit on-stream on Wickersham stream. If I tried quick, t uh, quick play for the first time the other day, First time in recent memory, I just got just got my ass handed to me. Most matches, I won a couple, but uh, I, I struggled a lot. I'm gonna go for it. Got it. Lives are valuable. I'm actually gonna get a gem this time. I just need to get the nitro crate. Or the nitro activated activation trigger. Fucking last minute eel! There we go. I got a world four gem. Air supply. That also sounds like a level name that was used. I think that was a Wrath of Cortex level. Alright, final annoying level, hopefully. I did say I prefer these to the... the... like, plain levels in Crash 3, but... 
Still not my favorite. I'm a platforming kind of guy, even if it's not so great controlling platforming. like one from Toho 12's final stage. I almost said Tuhu unironically. Hello, Jeff. It's nice to see you, too. Stop launching fireworks! This is what we get for flying over Texas. I actually have no idea if Texas has firework laws. New York infamously banned them. I don't know how infamous it is. New York banned them, and uh, some people were not happy about that decision. There are uh, talks to be more strict about them in this area, southwest Washington. Because uh, they've, been, they've been getting uh, pretty gratuitous in terms of the days people do them. Just like the entire week before 4th of July or New Year's. I heard them a couple times randomly throughout the year just because people want to do fireworks and for no other reason. California is one I would imagine would be very strict on them, especially given the recent wildfires. No, mi machine gun! I hate this machine gun. 8%. <sighs> More fireworks. Give me health. Just dead. Shot down. It's fine. I got a checkpoint. Is E O S D when? E O E O S D? Huh? What? Is that a two who? Oh, Toho Six. No, I, I've never played a Toho game. I'm going to take him down first. That's my strategy. It worked. I haven't got the gems on any of the flight levels. 125. Oh, hello, frog from medieval era. 
That makes sense, Frog Consumer, sure. And he turns green and dies. Because they got some diseases, I guess? Also, you cannot, uh, you can't spin enemies into things in order to destroy things. That's kind of a shame. I like spinning enemies into things in Crash games. Probably not going to get all the crates, but I want to make an attempt as long as I'm reasonably able to. Especially if it's a bonus level like this, because I don't have to worry about lives that way. Oh man! Well, at least I had a mask. We're fine. Uh, hmm. I don't have a lot of time to puzzle out how to do these things because the way the tower is. And I missed some crates. Whatever. Wasn't even. You know what? Nah. I'm good. I, I saw the bonus level. I tried. Crash Bandicoot, huge adventure featuring the Quitterist of Zelrogs. complex bonus areas. They're way on another level from the PS1 Crash games. That's quite a jump. Mm. Made it. We're good. Mask. Yes, please. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, you... I just got that! Again, really not a lot of reaction time on a screen this small. It's better than a lot of small screen, like handheld platformers, could still be zoomed out a little bit more, I think. Come on. I gotta bait it out. Not. I just have to panic spin and hope that's the correct course of action to take. I haven't used that yet. Just inch 
slowly, just in case suddenly something pops up in front of me, like that frog. I got the crystal, can I just exit the level? Can I just go back, go home now? Why didn't he do why didn't he do the hover that time? Alright, this is safe, and then a frog appears. Frog jumps out. Here he is. Well, this would be a lot of memorizing I'd be doing in order to go for the relics, which is the case with every crash game, you gotta memorize for those, but still. There's a lot of memorizing you have to do just to get to the end of a level in this game. This is a very hard crash game, which is saying a lot. Alright, last level. Final countdown. I got... I don't believe I got any of the color gems. At this point, you're just gunning for the end. Yeah, pretty much. Six gems. I didn't plan on this being 100%. I thought maybe I'd get all the gems and not bother with the relics, but even that is just really, really difficult. I'm risking a game over in a crash game. That doesn't happen. I don't remember if I ever... I don't think I got a game over in any of the... Any of the previous Crash streams. I don't remember for sure, though. I mean, the... You know, the, the original trilogy, Insane, and Wrath of Cortex. Not necessarily the newer, weirder ones. Because I did struggle with uh, Titans and Mind Over Mutant. I remember running out of lives a couple times during those. Getting all of the gems and relics gets you a secret final boss from Microfueled. Is it a new character to this game, or is it a character who's appeared in the franchise before this game? Like, Entropy? I'm, I'm not going to do that, so you might as well tell me who the character is. I'm, cur I'm curious. Is it Oxide? That'd, that'd be something new. This is Mega Mix's first appearance. Who is Mega Mix? I keep thinking the wall is a background object. like about Nitro Field is it pulled from all corners of Crash history, including obscure games like this one. Yeah. I like that uh, Yaya Panda is finally in a game that is not a shitty mobile game. She's the one good thing to come from those games. Even though if it, her model looks a little bit weird in Nitro Field, I'll admit. The 
Mega Mix. There's a fusion of the four bosses. Is that actually a thing, or are you fucking with me? Oh, wow. Oh, I barely made that. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but I did it. Okay, I, I looked it up. I'm going to need to put an image of that on screen. at the end of the stream. Because I'm, I'm not going to be able to get it. I'm not going to be get to getting to the... Uh, I'm not, not going to be doing 100% in this game. I tried. Oh, man. Two lives. I'm getting way down there. Well, I have again! I'm not going to get a game over in this game. I'm on the last level. Make it to the end, and I'm gonna beat Cortex with my one life. You just watch. No. Fuck off, Cortex. are good. They've been very helpful to Crash. I don't want to destroy him. You don't destroy the Chaos Emeralds. Maybe the Black Star Emeralds, but... Fuck! Pity Mask. Zeroth Life. Game. You 
fool, it will take me forever to fix this mess. And then Crash rides into space with his sunglasses and his cool motorbike. And he rides around the Earth into the sunset. We have to retrieve the gems and relics to destroy the, the, the thing so that he can't just do it again. second. So, uh, apparently, this exists in this game. This beautiful creation of God is called the Mega Mix, or uh, in this game it's just referred to as Monster, and it's just they all did the fusion dance. They all put on Patara earrings and they had a tea party and this happens. I guess this is the secret final boss we're not going to get to see. It's a very interesting imagination they have. It's also in uh, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, apparently. There, there's that version. Isn't it, isn't it beautiful? Man, I can't believe we missed out on uh, that thing. Pretty cool final thing to get, just not cool enough to be worth me 100%ing this game on stream. Looks like a DeviantArt OC. It, it does look like a DeviantArt something. It looks like uh, I was looking at uh, Pokey Fusions earlier today. Like uh, Vaporeon and Rapidash, you get Vapidash. He's rad and actually kind of scary. Uh, I imagine it looks like it would be very mentally unstable, that combination of things. Now you just need to com now you just need to combine them with the tiny from right from uh, the, the Mind Over Mutant the, the, and the and the Titans game. That tiny's a good tiny. You know, really combine him with Doctor Cortex. I think you get something really special. I don't think Dinga Dial was even in those two games. Then I didn't complete them though, so I don't know. I'm really curious how they fucked up the other characters if that's what they did to Tiny though. Not curious enough to continue playing the games, but curious. Junior publicist, an intern. Bender Helper Impact. They had a helper for after they went on benders? They really did put everybody in Nitro Fuel, though. Wait a minute. Species, hybrid, human, cyborg, Thylacine, Dingodile, and Cro Dingo and Crocodile. The hell is a Thylacine?
it's an animal, commonly known as the Tasmanian tiger. Oh, okay, that's what that is. Tiny the Tasmanian tiger. I guess it, I, so. He's not a. He's not actually a tiger. He's a marsupial. I thought he was an actual tiger, which he was in the Mind Over Mutant, right? Sure looked like. Well, sure, he looked more like a tiger in that. Dingadile is in the Game Boy Advance version of Titans. I haven't been looking at the credits. They haven't looped, have they? Are they waiting for an input from me? I think they might have been. Well, there we go. There's all 20 levels. And, uh, again, not 100%ing it, but I played it. I would have liked it as a kid. I don't dislike it now. I just don't like it enough to do the whole thing. But it was fun. I'm glad I played this. And uh, I do intend to do entranced as well. Hopefully it's a little more refined. Came out, you know, a year or so after this one did, so we'll see. Would be nice. I think I'd like a slightly more refined version of this more, because my main struggle was with the controls and the inputs, as opposed to as compared to PS1. We'll see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday. Adios.